have a very bad feeling about this. Are my eyes blurry? You're back with little guardsman level five. This will include, well, I guess, five levels. Shine. I guess the first part included five levels. Wow. I don't remember. Dad, you rise, you shine. I'll take five more minutes. It's time to get up. Shouldn't you be down at the guard shed? And shouldn't I be heading down to cover for you? Right, Do you right. want the good news or the bad news? Bad news. We have to work the night shift tonight. No way. I'm predicting ghosts. I'm just gonna say it. I'm predicting ghosts and dragons. I'm going back to bed. I mean... No. You're getting out of this house know. and taking some time to yourself today. Why do we have to work the night shift? Uh, good news or bad news? I thought we picked bad news. Apparently, you didn't pick the right person's champion for the rescue mission. Wow. Whatever that means. The, what? they're punishing you for it. They give me a whole day of gameplay for picking the wrong team? And I won't be able to cover for you. Because I'm also working the night shift at the East Gate. Okay. And what's the I good news? Guess. There's no good news. There isn't any. I guess it was just bad news this time. Who's punishing you? No one. I work the night shift a couple times a week to help us get by. What a great dad. Dad, I didn't know that. Well, now you do. Let's so, get up. I guess you could say the economy is punishing me. That and inflation. If taxes keep going all. up, I might have to get us a third all. job so we can keep affording things like your little doohickey here. Who? Skateboard? Wait, don't touch that! No way. Whoa. What just happened? Do you want the good news or the bad news? Both are. I don't know. Do you feel okay? I feel fine, sweetie. No need to look all blurry about it. Now you get out of here and enjoy your day off. But don't enjoy it too much. You have to work all night, remember? Uh, okay, 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 I'm going. Just uh, try not to operate any heavy machinery until I get back. We get a little day off and travel some characters. Let's go do that. A couple of rats, okay. They're just chill. Oh, that's more than a couple. That's more than a couple. Oh, God. The rat problem is even worse than I thought. We eat all of our meals here. She gags. Wait, I, th I thought I was walking. It's walking by itself. What gang is this? Lila, Simon, Lamont. How's it going, guys? Hey, if it isn't Little Miss, I haven't been around for a while. Where you been all this time? Not around. I got what every kid fears they'll get one day. A job. Chicken box? Well. Worse than that, Simon. I got a job. What are you up to? Well, you just missed the rock throwing portion of our morning. Sadly, we chucked the last rock in the alley over the fence. Next. Well, we were thinking of seeing if we could get our mitts on some of the cool stuff that Garby guys got over there. They look like magical toys, basically. Dang, they're thieves. I have to use a bunch of those for my job. And even though they look like a barrel of laughs, they're serious business. Come on, Lil. For some reason, the world is basically treating you like you're old. Work your magic and score us some sweet loot. Peer pressure. I'm not sure if it's a good idea, but I'll talk to Garbanzo over there and see. No way. So either way, I just talk to Garbanzo. All right, let's talk to Garbanzo. Hi, Lil. Sorry, I'm not quite ready to open up the shop yet. I can't seem to find my inventory key. What are you doing up so early? Exploring. Working the graveyard shift tonight. So, I'm finally available to see some of my friends who have responsible parents and reasonable bedtimes. People like those small hooligans over there? Those aren't small hooligans. They're my friends. And I was actually coming to talk to you about letting us borrow a couple of items. I stand by my statement. And we can talk about loaning you some merchandise later. But first, I've lost the key to my inventory, and I think one of them might have stolen it. Ooh. Maybe you could talk to them for me. Work your little guardsman magic and see what you could do to get it back. On it. Okay, we're pretty mellow about this. All right, guys. Time to confess. Which one of you took poor Garby's inventory key? Was me. I don't know. I ain't saying nothing. Well, it was probably him. So that's the way it's gonna be, is it? Listen, 
I need that key to upgrade tools and buy more power crystals. So one of you is gonna tell me who's responsible. Are you a lawyer all of a sudden? Nope, but I'm a guardsman. I hope you got your story straight, because I really don't want to go down to the guard shed and get my metal detector. Ooh. So tell me, which one of you took Garby's key? It was Simon. What? I've never brought this up to the group before, but I think Isla is a kleptomaniac. I always see her taking things out of Lamont's backpack when he's not looking. But also... Between you and me, I saw Lamont poking his big, dumb, handsome nose that sits in the middle of his gorgeous face all around that booth. And so, uh, gorgeous or...? It was probably him. Oh, he's such a bad boy, but also... I could make up my mind now, or dig a little deeper. I hate to be a narc, but I think it was. Ah, uh, I forgot to pick. So he said he took it. He said that she takes stuff out of the backpack, and then she said that Lamont. I, I think Lamont's been there the whole time. It was so. probably Lamont. He's the tough-looking kid with the missing tooth. Thanks, Lil. I'll be right back. Whoa. Hey, you, mullet boy. Stay right where you are. Barbie's the smart or strong or fast. By the time he reached the little hooligan friends, they ran off. But Lil had been correct and startled. Lamont dropped the key as he fled. Too easy. Uh, got the key back. And those hooligans ran off. It's a win-win. Now my shop is ready to open. For helping me out, I'd like to offer you some gold to upgrade one of your tools. Or load up on crystals. Whatever your little heart desires. Nice. So let's see i will take we'll just take this and this and go have some fun step right up one and all and win some money on the goblin ball i don't need money Fredo. again i've never seen you before in my life but i placed a bet with you on the last game doesn't ring a bell the kaladar lightning game against the brawlers i won some money okay if you say so person i've never seen before anyways you want to make a bet on the game? I don't have Here any. Here are the teams at play, kiddo. Which one do you want to hear about? Are you sure you want to bet on them? So they're kind of lazy. Five gold. What an embarrassing series of unfortunate accidents for the Sprawl Brawlers. First, Jorbala Pepstein failed to barrel roll out of the way of the Marauders' lightning fast offensive five line. Five gold. Oh, it's gold, my bad. And Audrey Goblin only shaved 12 of the 14.7 seconds off of the time the brawlers needed to open the Diamond Snorf's cage. It all comes down to the final wagon wheel toss today, folks. And the coach has sent in Sir Warren of Bainbridge, the bad boy of the brawlers. Okay. Okay. Line. It's my favorite. He's muttering something to boy. himself. He spits. He lifts the wheel above his head. He spins. He spins again. He spins a third time. Okay. And Let's go. The Marauders weather wizard can't touch a throw like that. And it's through the post. The nice, nice, win. nice. I don't know what Granny picked. Oh, Granny's gone. Granny's gone. She... Lucky oh. guess, kid. Come back next time for all your illegal gambling needs. Just ask for Fredo. I did that. He had a little fake. He was fake about it. All right, let's uh get down to the shit to work the night shift. All invisible locations become unavailable. It's first, it's first. What's there this? have to be night people, right? A mysterious present? Perhaps a secret admirer? Oh. To whom it may concern. Your choice of champion for the Princess Rescue Mission was found acceptable. Unfortunately, we haven't heard much from the mage yet. Just a lot of squeaks and chirps from his tower. Regardless, please find and close a one-time bonus for your proficiency in character evaluation. Ta for now. P.S. My regrets are your nighttime work inconvenience. Ash. A free truth spray slot upgrade. Hell yeah. I ain't reading all this. I ain't reading all this. I ain't gonna lie. We'll do this. We'll do this. Vampire. Good evening, child. I have not seen you at the post before. Yeah, you know how it goes. Drew the short straw this time. Burning it at both ends, you know. Just gotta keep on trucking through. I hear you. Working the graveyard shift myself. Yeah. I bet. You said it. I feel like he... Maybe he's hiding something. 
Do we go ahead and hit the x-ray on him? Hold still. I'm gonna need to x-ray you. As long as it's not one of those that uses ultraviolet light. I don't know if it does. I don't think so. It's clean. Oh, well. Huh. Guess it does use ultraviolet light. Next. Yeah, I didn't know. Who's next? Who's next? That has to be a four stars. Yes, he was on there, but he was also a successful chiropractor and pillar of his community. So maybe I guess that give it away is a good guy. Everybody needs a chiropractor every now and then. Let's talk what did to you him. say your name was, sir? <sighs> Heinrich. Okay. And last name? Von Pyer. Von Pyer? Okay. Von Pyer. Title? Uh, count. Your name is Count Heinrich Von Pyer? Yes. I hit him a little tease. What? Were the less obvious names taken? I have no idea what you mean. I happen to come from a long line of Von Pyers. I believe I it. have no doubt in my mind. Yep. Okay, let's let's call the the clown. He likes weird names, so let's see what he says. Congratulations, you're caller sixty three, so you've won tickets to the big concert tomorrow night. Nice. Malcolm, it's Lil. Uh, I have a question about someone wanting to pass through the gate. Those still got those tickets? No, Malcolm here. Only DJ J Star giving away all the hottest tickets to the best shows in town. Okay, so I do get the tickets. Okay, but what do I do about this guy? Let him in. You did win a pair of tickets after all. What concert True. are they for? The Vincent Donkers Live Toad Experience. It's the best in croak rock. On second thought, you can keep them. Dang, okay, we're not into rock, I guess. We're never gonna give these tickets away. Oh, dang, okay. Can I give him a bun? Can you give him the rice? Maybe this will loosen your lips. The 3D rice? I mean the 2D rice? Or the pixelated rice? rice? You're showing me a bag of rice? Why would you do such a thing? Would you happen to know how many grains of rice there are in that what? bag? Why is he talking like that? I don't know. A lot? Holy crap. Okay, just give it to me. I will count them for you. A bag of rice I never in all my years. Okay, what do you weirdo. Mean? Next. That was it? Maybe you didn't know, but a vampire is cursed to count every grain of rice in a bag that is given to him. He's kept him busy before daybreak. Good job. Wait, that is... I thought he was a good guy. You wanna win a little bit? Okay, that was luck, I guess. But we'll continue. We will take the extra gold. We need the gold right now. Listen, little girl, there isn't much time. You must send me to jail immediately. I pray you don't make me explain any further. We haven't the time. Have I seen him before? I feel like I've seen you before. Did you go to a funeral for a cat recently? Sprinkles! That vile beast of a feline. I am certain that cat cursed me and turned me into the monster I am today. Maybe he can only come out at night now? I assure you, I am in my right mind. You must gather the other guards and escort me to the dungeons right now. Oh, because you can destroy the kingdom? I know it's a strange request, but it is a matter of grave importance. And by grave importance, I mean someone could die. He's a great Whoa, guy. This sounds really serious. Are you sure you want me to send you to jail? Very honest guy. Yes. Yes, I am. And there is not a moment to lose. Unless this guy eats goblins, I think he's good to go. I don't know if I showed it, but I saw some goblins in jail from the past episode. They're still there. Thank you. Bless you, child. The world is a safer place now. I really hope Thank you get you. the help you need. So sad about it. It's cool. Look at four stars. Wow. Observed and understood this man's affliction, lichenism. We made the right choice. We could, we could have arrived at it sooner. So is this four stars? There we go. Nice. Oh my god. Didn't we see this guy already? <laughs> no, no, little one. Not a god. Just an incredibly handsome mortal. People make that mistake all the time. It is I, Prince Phineas. It's happened to me too. To the throne of Petrod. This guy went to the club though. I know who you are. We're not I gonna guess him up. Gate when you arrived. I let you in. 
And still you mistake me for a god? <laughs> well, who can blame you? <sighs> Do you have anything to declare? Please say no and just go about your business. As a matter of fact, I do. Yeah, I was afraid of that. I declare that I am... He's sweating, drunk? he's sweating. <laughs> no. Well, actually, hold on. Yes, yes, I am drunk. Sauced. Three sheets to the wind. Nay, four sheets. No sheet. Okay, and I feel like I'm gonna regret asking, but what have you been doing tonight? What? what do you want me to say? Milkmaids? Uh, or what I've been doing with the milkmaids? Well, we, I think we knew that from the uh, visual perspective here. And well, we've come this far. come this far. What have you been doing with the milkmaids? Oh, wait. I got thrown out for trying to stretch a single into a double. Sad. I just feel sorry for you, man. Don't pity me, little one. I whoa, whoa, whoa. am a crown prince of the realm. A sad one. Aren't you here trying to win the hand of Princess Desdemona? Well, sure I am, but when the Mage's Guild throws a party in your honor, boy, do they know how to show you a good time. And you can't stop a fox from stealing eggs, am I right? I guess. Good night, Prince Phineas. That's me. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I know. That's why I said it. Now get out of here, you drunk fool. Oh, all right. That's it? You just get to go? Good evening, my dear. This is Abernathy. You're out awful late, especially with all these comings and goings about the sprawl. Oh, my stars! Would you look at the time? How the day does get away from you. I best be turning in. A little launch box in here. Nah, we'll look at that. What up, girl? Maybe in the middle? Wouldn't... I don't think I can use this right now. Why not? A little extra on her. Okay. Found nothing. You know, normally I expect to see more. Bones and, you know, human innards. Oh my stars, hmm. would you look at the time? How the day does get away from you. I best be turning in. Why did she say that again? Yeah, that seems pretty off to me. Oh, it's a shapeshifter. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. It's a shapeshifter. Do we gel these guys? Do we deny them? We gel them, right? We gotta gel them. We gotta gel them. See, look at that. I'm sorry, Mrs. This A. Looks a little but different. I think this is for your own good. Boy, that felt awful to say. Oh my stars! Would you look at the time? How the day? Okay, okay. We get it. We get it. Sweet little old lady to prison. Man, this just keeps getting worse and worse. Well, that's weird. Did the guard still take it? Something seems especially monstrous about the old bag tonight. She's the dungeon master's problem now. How do I not get three stars? Why rewind again? Would he just kill people and gel with them? I don't think we want all that, right? Because we got the good guy here that turned himself in. But they ate. They might be a good fight. We'll just deny. We'll just flat out deny. There we go. Okay, we'll take the three stars. We'll take. I don't know how to get four, but we'll take the three. Well, well, well. If it isn't the little girl who works the guard shed. I was hoping we'd meet again. I'd love to stay and chat, but I have a rather important meeting to attend. Again? Uh, I don't think I recognize you. Why are your hands behind your back? You going to jail, buddy? Oh, the truth spray on him? What are we decoding, though? I don't know what to decode. But then I did it on the wizard, and that worked. Can I use it? It tells me if I can't use it. Oh. Wait, it didn't do this last time. What are we, what are we decoding? So does it decode and give me the the thing? N necromancer? Okay, so it gives me the answer. We just deny him. I, I wanted to talk to him a little bit, though. Let's talk to him. Exactly is this meeting you're attending? If you must know, I was summoned by Creator Cargan personally. It is a highly confidential matter that doesn't concern you. Ow. As a guard of the kingdom, you don't tell me what does and does not concern me. Yeah. I tell you what does and does not concern me. A backbone. Interesting. Foolish, but interesting. 
He does have these tattoos. If anyone would know, it'd be... I'll call Ash. She got records. Hello? You've reached the office of Councilwoman Ash. Unfortunately, she doesn't tend to city business after hours. Late night intern Travis speaking. What can I help you with? Travis? Okay, Travis. Pay attention, Trav. There's a creepy dude here. Trav. I've met him before. A mage named Ty... Ty... something... Tyler? The creator? Tyronius. Okay. Right. Tyronius. Says he's got a meeting to get to. Got Tyronius the creator. Well, I know that the councilwoman has full trust in the mages guild. They know what they're doing. Sure thing, Travis. I don't know. But I don't trust him. Remember, your job is not to make policy, it is to follow policy. A little nervous Nothing saying that. With a citizen of this brawl coming and going as For a temp, you got a lot of attitude there, bucko. Yeah, settle down. I could say the same about you. Hey, you still, still got the attitude there. Blarg. Okay, thanks for... Nothing? Nothing? Right. Thanks for nothing. You're very welcome. Anyway, I'll write this down and Councilwoman Ash will get back to you at her earliest convenience. Likely after 10 a.m. Don't uh, I don't know. Goodbye. Yeah, I'll be asleep. Goodbye. Useless. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But well, we're denying this guy. We're not to deny him, so... I just want a little bit of dialogue, you know? You have no right to deny me. No right to even stand in my view, you pathetic smaggle. Wow. What's that? I think that's a slur. Smaggle. Yes, that is the word we mages use to describe worthless, magicless beings such as you. You are a prime grade A example of a smaggle. Wow. Dude, that's pretty weak. No, it is not weak. It cuts to the core. Now nah, that's lame. Nah. Get out of here. Now, nah, Lou. Now, nah, Lou. The Praetor will know of your insolence, little one. Three? Okay, we'll take three. We'll take three. You didn't let the creepy guy into the sprawl. It's gotta be worth at least a pat on the back. I guess. Oh, man. <laughs> you got a one way ticket inside the sprawl here. Oh, my God. Are you some kind of. Scary tree monster? Yes! Now let me in or I'll thwomp and stomp you! Um, what if we hit the whip? Or maybe he's lying. Yeah, maybe he's lying. Nah, he's lying. We'll use this one. We'll use this one. It'll work. It'll work. Watch this. Look at that. I got the magic. I got the magic in me. I am a tree. The scary tree monster says nothing further. Well, that was an action point well spent. Well, I used the crystal. Maybe we gotta fight back. Oh, I maybe need, I guess he can't be a fake, right? I was thinking he'd be a fake because he he, have, he has mushrooms coming out of there. Can, does it let me use this? Okay. Maybe he's hiding something. Nothing. nothing? There's no way. What did you expect? I don't know. I think I should restart this one. Do I get my crystals back? I'm restarting. I don't remember. I'm restarting because I think I get my crystals back. No one is awake. Well, let's, let's check Striker. Maybe maybe she's awake. A scary tree monster, you say? She's awake. What does he want? Uh, tell him or her to take it up with the Department of Agriculture in the morning. Oh, yeah. He'll listen. Violence won't lead to anything positive. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to training soldiers for war. That did not help at all. Talk to me, and come what on. What business would you say you have in the sprawl this evening? Too many people come through my woods. Too many strangers stomping on our roots and throwing their garbage on us. Me and my brothers and sisters say no more. Okay, that's very valid. I am hearing your stirred up emotions. I don't think I want to tease him though. Do we just hit the trust and then deny him? I don't know. That must be really hard on you and the other scary tree monsters. Not all are scary. Oh man, I'm just gonna deny him. I don't know. If the if deny is game over, then we just jail. Then we jail. Even though we already used a little re, re thing on him. I didn't even check if I'm I got sorry, my things back. We are full up on tree monsters today, scary or otherwise. I'm afraid your entrance has been denied. Yeah, we already had a couple of them coming through. This is an outrage. 
Scary tree monster hate bureaucracy. If I cannot stomp and swamp in the city, I will stomp and swamp outside of the city. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Whatever you do in your own time is your business. Okay. We'll take, we'll take the three. So you thwarted a thwomping. Excellent work. Hello. I wish safe passage through this gate. Man, when they're gonna... Oh, oh man. I got, I'm trying to be one of these guys. I'm trying to voice one of them. Come on. I, I, I got you. Uh, the first one's cheap. The first one's cheap. Can do. I'm just gonna need you to lift that hood. Gotta see if you're human or elf or gelatinous blob. We've had all types tonight. Trees? So it's not for trees? I'm afraid I can't do that. I assure you, I am human. Now, please allow me safe passage. You're not gonna declare anything? Well, I'll declare for you. Watch this. What do we got? Oh, necklace? Necklace? Is it is it a dangerous necklace? A, a dark arts necklace? Whoa, what's with the neck candy? A little out of place for someone dressed so discreetly. An emerald on it, okay. My necklace is none of your concern. Okay, my so bad. So stole it. I did not steal it. Well, she's wearing it. But that could also mean that she stole it and she's trying to pretend she's wearing it and it's hers. Then it was a gift? Yes. From my mother. Uh, I believe her. I got a gift like that from my mom. Only thing I got from her was this hair. Well, do we confiscate it? Does this give us this gives a lot of gold? Is she lying? Did her mom really give it to her? Do we hit confiscate and just do we, do, we, do we play greedy? Do we play greedy? But maybe we should hit the truth spray first. Let's confiscate. We still have rewinds left. I'm gonna have to hold on to this just until we can get your story straight. No, you mustn't. Okay, maybe that was, that was you dangerous. Tell me a bit that was more dangerous. About you, and then maybe I can give you back your shiny rock on a string. No, I can't. Fine, keep it. I will return for it another day. Aw, you're no fun. That don't okay. look like the real thing. Maybe I should call one of the higher ups about it. Okay, I, I trust. I trust Lil's intuition. Hey, hello. Okay. Uh, Striker's awake. Ash's asleep. His assistant sucks. Malcolm. Malcolm's. He thinks it's funny. He thinks it's funny. He's a little funny. He's a little funny. Just a little bit though. A Just a little bit. Female entering in the middle of the night. What's the big deal? A silver necklace with a large green gem. That sounds like the one the princess wears. She must know something about Desdemona's absence. Detain Joe? her at once Joe? and let my guards make her talk. Or you know what? I'll run down and do it myself. Hey, come on down. I'll be there in five, no, three minutes. Don't tell me there's a timer. Tell me there's a timer that starts happening and I have to entertain her and I get unlimited thoughts right here. No? Okay. Well, that was your chance. That, that, that would've been good. A timer happens and then I keep talk I get to keep talking to her. I guess I do have to talk You've to her. got a real mysterious, don't ask me any questions vibe going on. What's up with that? I simply have nothing to state or claim. I just wish to enter. You know, I'd now. say you have a trusting face, but I haven't seen it yet. And you won't. Strike a will. In jail. That necklace, it must be stolen. Guards, take her away. Search her for any other fancy jewelry or out of place items of significance. Oh yeah, let me get it. You don't know what you're doing. Please, just let me go try at another gate. Oh, maybe she's a good person. I don't uh, think so. Maybe. First our princess gets stolen, then someone's necklace. I have to do what I can to stop no, this I rampant think, surge of I think I'm gonna stop. I don't know. I am not a thief. Tell it to your cellmates, who are also thieves claiming they're not thieves. Guards? Or maybe she was bringing it as proof. So you found out she probably was missing. So you found out she probably was the missing princess returning home. And you sent her to jail? What was shooting her out of a cannon not an option? What? Okay, so. So Striker sucks too, I guess. I guess all they all I guess they all suck at night. Rewind. We gotta rewind. I don't know why you would know, but we'll call Ash. Forwarding you to Mrs. Ash now. Please hold. Okay, now she's here. Little Sound a little bit like Mario. Something about a necklace. Hello to you too. Yes, the cloaked woman is rocking some serious neckwear. Silver chain, big green rock. Oh yeah. That is the same necklace that the princess wears. Maybe the princess gave it to her as proof so that she could enter safely and relay a message to me. To her. Let her in immediately and 
tell Travis he's fired. Why? Oh, I tell him that every night. It's our little game. Ta! All I'm right. still on the call, you know. We'll just hit the admit. That's fine. I don't know why, but something tells me I should let you enter. Maybe it's the necklace, maybe it's the nothing else you've told me about yourself, but I gotta follow my gut on this one. Thank you. The choice you made here today will not go unrewarded. Okay, okay. Tacos. Yeah, what? that's fine. Make my reward tacos. Uh, okay, sure. <laughs> Hooray! Oh, since this mysterious lady was having a royal surprise, well deduced, guardsman. There may be tacos in your future. Why is he All back? All right, there. It is done. 62,451. I've counted every single grain of rice in this bag. I also counted 14 bugs, 27 bottle caps, and one mouse skull. And you said I couldn't do it. No, I didn't. Oh. Well, I did it anyway. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. You were just about to invite me into the sprawl. I'm sorry, but it's almost sunrise, which means my shift is done. You'll have to wait until the next guard comes on duty. It's almost sunrise? Oh, holy hell, I can't believe I spent another night wasted counting grains of rice. I'll come back tomorrow night. I don't think Why I got not just wait until the, daytime the night shift guard again. Comes. Because I can't. Why not? Because I said I can't. I blister in the sun. I bet you do. So long, child. Until the next time when you are unfortunate enough to have to work the night shift. So long, obvious vampire dude. So maybe that's a little uh, hint that will work the night shift again. I wonder if sunscreen works on vampires. Three? We gotta get the three. Three and a half. Oh, let's go. Oh, she's here. It's you. What are you doing here? Are you here to give me tacos? Hey, that'd be good. It's daytime. No, I've come to reveal my true identity to you. <gasps> so, no tacos? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Desdemona. Princess Desdemona? Nah, I knew it all along. No, you didn't. Why split hairs? But what about the kidnappers? There were no kidnappers. She ran away. I disguised myself and ran away. I'm sorry for all the commotion I've caused. But I had to get away to say goodbye to someone important to me before my wedding. She had a little crush on someone, okay. I don't understand. I'm being forced to marry one of the suitors from these two rival kingdoms. Rival? Yeah, yeah, that's old news. What I don't understand is why you, a princess, are here talking to me about it. Shouldn't there be more official people that could play therapist? Like Stryker? Ash? Oh, God. Oh, not Malcolm. I know my father had faith in them. Yep, he's my third choice, too. When I'm gone, your advisors will help maintain the balance. Blah, blah, blah. They want me out of the way so they can control my father's kingdom. Oh, is so that evil? They've never been good at listening to what I want or how I want to rule this land. Nobody listens to me. Oh, well, maybe you're evil. Sing it, sister. And now maybe not, I'm being forced to choose between allying the sprawl with the kingdom of Petrard or the Marvog Empire. I don't know. An empire is bigger than a kingdom, isn't it? You mean Phineas, the pompous prince, or Cargan, the praetor terror? And it doesn't even matter if I love them or not. At the end of the day, it's strictly politics. Lucky me. This is the first time in the game I've been okay being 12. I just want to make the right choice. Tell me, Lil, what do you think of Prince Phineas? Oh, me? I don't like him. I don't like him. He's way higher maintenance than you seem to be. And he's an asshole. Nuff said. Oh, yeah. And what about Praetor Cargan? What do you think? Honestly, I think it's bull. They talk about honor, but she's got a lot of blood on her hands. Hard pass for me. So if you were me and you had the future well-being of the sprawl in your hands, who would you choose? I have to pick? That's wild. I mean, at least Cargan will protect her. Thank you for your honesty. 
I know my advisors have jerked you around, but I also know you don't always do what they say, and I like that. You remind me of, well, me. And you remind me of me, too. If I was rich and beautiful and influential. Oh, you are influential. You've changed the course of fate more than you know. Don't forget beautiful. I am also beautiful. The sun's coming up. I must go. I shall put my own heart aside and do what's best for the kingdom. You should put the coat on right there. Like the hood thing she took off. Just so we know that it's sitting along the chair. Picked it up, make the little sound effect. Alright, we're back with some little guardsmen. We had the night shift earlier. Let's continue to level two level and six. Although the princess has come home, she is still remaining quiet on where she was during her missing time. But frankly, I do not care. She's got that look at me, I'm back attitude, and it reflects in her style. You know it. She was seen returning to the castle, rocking those possibly was kidnapped leggings, all while sporting a I might have just run away and ran out of money <laughs> hooded cloak. What do you think she's gonna be wearing at the wedding? No idea, but no doubt it will complement her chosen spouse's home kingdom. That's right. Princess Desdemona has finally made her choice, and it's Praetor Cargan of the Marvog Empire. I knew it was gonna be them. It was the obvious choice from the get-go. So obviously obvious. So long, Prince okay, Phineas so... Pop of the Petrarch Kingdom. You just didn't make the cut. Bye. Bye. All right. All bye, right. Bye. Uh, bye. 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 See ya. Wouldn't want to so... be ya. Bye. Bye. Oh my bad. Okay. So I'm assuming whichever prince you pick, you get a so different she ending. Made her choice. I don't know her ending. Life Maybe is in that. With intrigue, and I feel like I am now somehow intertwined with her fate's path. Yeah, yeah. See, maybe just the next level is different. Oh, well, Maybe six is different. The gang's up to. No, I wouldn't think so, huh? Maybe the rest of the game is different. That'd be cool. There's a note from Dad. Dear Lil, here's some excuse why I can't wear the guard shed today. Back to the guard shed for me. Wait, Wait a minute. Dad. Where's the chronometer? I always leave it right here. Under the bed. There it is. What's it doing under the bed? Spooky. I, I don't remember putting it there. Well, at least we got it. Wait, what time is it? I don't want to be late. Six. For a time machine, you'd think they could have at least put a clock on it somewhere. King Phineas and Queen Buttermilk will not sit idly by while their royal lineage is dragged through the mud. Hello, man. Jeez, what a big baby. I didn't know it was going to do that. Is better off without you. I didn't know I was gonna do that. Say what you will. Your words and your sweet smelling city will soon be drowned out by the musk of the sulfur Dang. mines of Petrad. He did give me a little bit of gold earlier, I'm pretty sure. Like level May two or three. Your home be exploded by a bottle of fine Petradian fizzy. Well that's not great. This is my setup. Let's go. Hello, Will. The Garche don't what? pay that no good, you know. Sparkly suit? It was a rental. Besides, today I'm here in a different capacity to help coordinate the royal wedding. They're getting married soon? You have a lot of jobs, Mike. And wedding planning is my least favorite out of all of them. Tell you what, why don't you be the wedding planner for the day? What do you think? I think well, it's I very paid? irresponsible to get a 12-year-old girl to do two grown men separate jobs. All you have to do is choose the music, decorations, and food menu for the big event. It's simple. Just let in the one you like the best. Or the one you think the groom would like best. Or who the bride will like. I'm sure it's not really going to affect anything. Or it might. See? It's simple. Do you want me to explain it again? No. Okay, good. The only thing I hate more than wedding planning is talking about wedding planning. The wedding musicians will be coming by for you to choose first. Here's the gold. See you later, Lil. Uh, you have 350 gold remaining in the wedding planning budget. Whoa, this gig pays great. The money's well, not for you. There's yeah. three choices for music, food, and decor, and each comes with its own price tag. The gold is the budget for the wedding. Okay, so... Do I have enough money to just pick the most expensive choices? The most expensive choices are going to be the best, right? Ah, uh, not always, Lil. Not always. I see that's what you're 12. Not necessarily. And no, you don't have enough. Anything over budget will have to come out of your own pocket. <sighs> I see. But if there's any money left over, you get to keep it. I see. 
We're on a tight timeline, so keep an eye on your action points. You've got four per round, so that's talking to everybody what? once or to two folks twice. You get the idea. Oh, already? Okay, okay. Hey, you could be beside me. I don't, I don't like you behind me, big dog. I don't know. Okay, from the looks of things, I think they're honestly gonna like this one. I honestly think they are. Because when you pick the prince guy that looks all fancy, he would like this, right? Cargan, that was the name. We picked Cargan. So since we picked Cargan, I think they will like this one. Vlad Extreme here, mate. I know what you're thinking. What is the baddest, metalist bad boy of death metal playing some skint royal wedding? Well, I ain't here just to collect a big paycheck, mate. Oh. I'm here to stick it to the bourgeoisie and not take any of their crap, mate. Rock and roll all life long. He's the most expensive, huh? Oh, snap. I didn't turn that off. Thank you for subscribing. I don't want to rule him out. I don't. I don't. I don't. Is she a dancer? Hello. Hi. Hello. My name is Suzette Courgette, and I sing um, with my voice. I do the slow songs and the nice songs and some of the ones you know. It said one to two times to talk. I don't want to go over 150. Well, I guess he would be playing the whole time, right? Yes. Extreme. Good choice, maybe. I'll write this down and be back when the next group turns up. See ya, kid. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So now this is an actual, okay. Uh, this guy again? Well, if it isn't the Edward, the great magician. Got another group of brats to entertain? Where are you pulling a rabbit out of is now? Is this guy a, a priest now? Oh, is he the priest for the wedding? My days of magic and illusions behind me. You got kicked out of the magician's union, didn't you? Yes, I did. Seems people preferred the actual dark arts to my light entertainment. No matter, though, I've got a new career now. Working at your parents' garden shop? They wish. I'm a wedding officiant. I'm here to officiate the royal wedding. Really? You? Uh, I mean, you, you are? are? I am. Not on my watch. So it's the Edward, the wedding officiant now, is it? Of course it isn't. Do you know how ridiculous it was for me to have the Edward the Magician as my name? It was so redundant. I can't believe nobody ever told me. Two these? I must have looked like an idiot. Well, when you put it that way. So now might... it's just I Edward heard him though, I heard the him. official officiant. With only one the, thank you very much. The name did sound corny, but it's fine. A little Having tease on official him. and officiant is also redundant. He's not gonna it learn, is? but... Why didn't anyone ever tell me that? I mean... I'm telling you now. What am I going to do about my 5,000 brand new business cards? Can't you cancel the printing? I did them by hand. Well, that ain't good. I'll strike her. I am currently going over the security plans for the wedding. I don't have time to help organize every little detail. Although that's not stopping some people from sending menial tasks my way. God, I hate anything to do with non-security related issues. Search his person. If he has anything he shouldn't have, deny him entry. Or just deny him anyways. I don't have time for this. I don't know, the might need a priest. Is he, is he on the records? What have we got? Hello, Councilwoman Ash? I'm sorry to bug you on such, such a busy no, day, but... Thank goodness you called. Seems in all the chaos of organizing this wedding so fast, we forgot to hire someone to officiate the ceremony. Do you know anyone who could do the job so, last minute? So he wasn't hired? This has got to be a joke, right? I never joke, Lil. Well, that's not true. I often share a laugh with my fellow political and high society types. But this is beside the point. Find someone now, and quickly. And don't dally. Well, Eddie, it seems dreams do oh. come true. They forgot to hire an officiant and are looking for someone to work the gig. Think you got what it takes? Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. See, Bob and Dad, I knew hard work and persistence would pay off in the end. Let's chalk this one up to dumb luck. Good luck, Edward. Thanks again, friend. We're not friends. Oh, my God. Or Edward... Okay, so we don't have to... Accept entry, he just goes in. Oh, fate seemed to smile as you connected this wannabe efficient with desperate councilwoman Ash. Alright, so 
Striker. I don't know. Hello Striker. there. I'm back. On to the decorator candidates. I don't have to tell you how important the interior decorations and overall aesthetic of a wedding can be. I okay. don't have to tell you because I refuse to tell you. Anyways, here they are. Take your shot. I wish I could get some names. Um, for the said no goblins. Although he's the homie, the said no goblins. This is probably the most. I think it goes from most expensive to medium to cheapest. I feel like she's she's been working hard. She would do a good job. Hello, I've got some grand ideas, you know, for how the royal Wait. wedding should be. Is she an elf? She is right. I know it, but I read all the latest wedding magazines down at the salon when I'm getting the old do done. And apparently, what's in these days is meat. Big bold slabs of meat on the wall. It gives things a real abattoir feel, so they say. So I guess I'd go with that. I don't know. Cargan might might like that. Like I chose the metal person. Rock and roll. I mean, the meat the meat might go with it, honestly. Cause I, you know, I feel like kind of like a traditional tribe kind of people. I'm just clicking I them. Tore a page out of the magazine for you to see. Oh wait. Just don't I didn't mean to talk to her again. Slap with me hanging on the wall. That's what it, that's what it said. Have you made up your mind? Yeah, we'll just pick her. We we clicked there in accident. I didn't mean to. Hunted? That's fine. That's the sweet smell of my successful design ideas, which will smell just like actual butchered hanging meat. Oh, they come scented? Okay. And I guess that'll be stone. good. I'll write this down and be back. Alright. See you, bro. Okay. Those smells like me. Uh, I guess that's pretty good. It is I, Articulous Flame Hands, chosen by the power vested in So You Think You Can Save a Princess to rescue said princess. A task at which I am ashamed to say I have failed. Oh, yeah. Don't sweat it. She came home already. Oh, mission accomplished. <laughs> in any case, I have a message to deliver to the High Council of the Mages Guild. Yes, is it going to be his, uh, like, try to pay me? Yeah, so if there's nothing else, I'll be on my way. On your way where? I don't know about that. Maybe let's talk to him. Oh, it is getting harder and harder for mages to communicate openly. So everyone is resorting to this secret message, cloak and dagger nonsense. Between hey. us, hey. there's talk of mages dabbling in the magic that dares not speak its name. Dark magic? A little tease. I like, I, have to, I like to hear the tease. The taking of life force from the dead and dare I say tempting godlike immortality? Yes, that's it exactly. Big deal. Can you just chill out, please? Who's who's Ash? Who's Ash? Is right. Yeah, Ash. It's called Ash. Should have done that first. Surely you remember Articulus Flame Hands. He was my champion on that wonderful. Right. <laughs> remember? You chose. I remember. Which That's it. Do. She came home on her own. That's what I'm saying. Tomato, tomato. He's still my champion, and I would thank you to let him pass. Ugh. Fine. Well, he might have something on him. Should we scan him? Truth free? Truth free? I got, I got, I got an extra one. I'll do it. I'll do it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, that's cool. It should always work though. Will it let me hit the whip? I only have one though. I only have one of these two. Can we decode anything? Hey, can I see the letter you're delivering? Oh right, you can decode the letter. Okay. Incredible. Let me see. Wait. What? No. This cannot be true. These renegade mages are more deeply embedded than I thought. I was sent to deliver this? Dear child, thank you for saving me from myself. Nah, I must was... flee and work to weed out the bad actors within the guild. Dark days lie ahead. Be careful. Your name was also mentioned in the letter. That was pure luck. It's because when I click a tool, oh hell yeah. It's because when I click a tool, it, it lets you either do it or not. You have to reveal some of the murky goings on within the Mage's Guild and save articulus becoming an accessory to it. All right, kid. Can you feel it? We're almost done. This is the last hellish choice. Just hurry up and pick the food Oops. option for the wedding so oh, we can food. get out of here. I'm not allowed to leave. Might have to go with Kelly. Two eyes? Come on. That's rare. What up, Kelly? What Long you got? Has the soup. 
Zu. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Je m'appelle François Saint-Français, head waiter à la chaise de la maison. We provide the finest and the fanciest of delicacies for the newly married royal couple and their guests. Only the smallest portions for the highest prices, of course. Very chichi pompon for the snootiest of people. A place someone like you or anyone you know would never get into, no matter how hard you tried. I guess so. I can't. I can't pick more than two. I can't even. I can't even buy that guy. I'll do Monty's. I did high, medium, and then we'll do low. And we'll keep we the fifty. We to making it a super event. Get it? Thank God this nightmare of a job is over. All the rest of you go home. Good choosing, kid. Well, at least I hope it's good. I wouldn't want to be the one responsible for messing up something like a royal wedding. Anyways, goodbye. I got 50 gold. I am a citizen of the sprawl. I have nothing to declare on my person and I demand to be allowed entry. Uh, I don't know. It's no goblins. Yeah, no goblins. Sorry. Straight up deny. Not good enough. I'm not leaving. You want me to go? Call the other guards. Either I walk through these gates or I go to prison. The choice is yours. Wait, I can't deny him now? Strikers aren't telling me to put him in jail. Lil, you have been appointed to this post to- I pulled the law. I am filling in for my dad. That's it. Well, your dad was appointed to this post to uphold the law. And you're representing him right now. If you let this person in, you will be fined. If you do not pay the fine, you and your father will wind up in one of the Sprawl's finest hotels. Isn't that good? That was a joke to break the tension. Oh. Prison. You will wind up in prison. Okay, so... Instead of me going to prison, we'll put you in prison. I get it. You're just following orders. I am going to prison on behalf of the Goblin Liberation Army. Still, you should come by the Goblin Liberation Army headquarters sometime. Here's the password. Come, it will open your eyes to what's happening in the sprawl. Ooh, backstory. You follow the right to the letter and avoided paying a fine, but is that what you think our game is about at this point? Really? So I shouldn't follow the letter? I don't know, they wouldn't say that if I denied him. I guess I have to admit him. The treatment of my people, and indeed most all non-humans in the sprawl, is a disgrace, a national embarrassment. If I do not have the freedom to come and go from my home as I please, what do I have? So once again, I say to you, I am a citizen of the sprawl. Okay. I really do feel for you, but why should I have to pay a fine to support your protest? I do have to I'm pay a fine, that huh? I'm the one in this position, but this protest is bigger than me. Bigger than all of us. It's just the beginning. If today we are unable to come and go as we please, what happens tomorrow? I'm not calling Striker, I know that. I'm not calling Striker. The writ could not be clearer. This so called person is not to be allowed entry. It is too dangerous. Oh, okay, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, okay, so. I don't even want to hear what she has to say. Let's call Malcolm. Hmm, intriguing. You seem to be caught between a rock and another equally hard rock. Tell you what, I'll take care of the fine if you let him in. I just gotta see what the GLA has planned. You know about the GLA? Of course I do. Founding member. Well, not really, but of course I know of them. I don't just sit down here reading and writing Yelp reviews for Monty's. Although I do that a lot too. You'll pay if I let him in? Bingo! Let me just find my wallet. Hey, that's good to me. Go ahead. Ah, oh, that got me the extra one. You knew that Malcolm would sympathize with Chuck's plight. You circumvented the draconian specious rule without getting dinged. Well, I guess- Where's Hamish? I, I really don't have time for- uh, Say, you there, little girl? I, I need to get to the other side of the sprawl without delay. I need you to listen to me. This is time sensitive. I know you got your instructions, but it's important that I get going quickly. Whoa, what is that? I don't know. I might hit the truth spray. It's my own fault that I'm running so far behind. But I need this job to go well. Maybe I'm in such a bad mood because I spend all my time talking about my process and making bullshit small talk at cocktail parties rather than being able to focus on creating my art. Wait a minute. What just happened? I'll talk to you. I swear someone was supposed to give you guys a heads up that I was coming. Let me spell it out for you. I went to school to become an ice sculptor. 
My parents okay. said, you'll never make a living at it. And they were right. Until the royal wedding, that is. This is my big break. I got the ice. I sculpted it. Now I have to deliver it. It's hot out. Just let me through so I can prove my parents wrong. At the little tease. At the little tease. Woohoo. Mommy and daddy never loved me. Oh. Wah, wah. And not a tease like that. Oh, I get it. This is fun for... Oh, but remember, I'll let you in. I'll let you in. I didn't think he was going to tease like that. That's fucked up, though. Okay, maybe I'll rewind. I have one rewind left. Where her sculpture was unrecognizable, it's on her arm. I'm sure it will still be the light the guest. Okay, I have one rewind. Wait, am I invited to the wedding? Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. oh we got perfect this whole run. You let her you let her in before too much of her masterpiece could melt away. Good work. That was because I used the rewinds though. I don't really use the rewinds usually. So still hence a little letter. Your choice for Prince Recording's wedding has been deemed acceptable. Accept the score as a token, but of thanks for honoring our ways. Kapla. Close for the day though. Is that perfect? That's for that's the first perfect. Hell yeah. Only took six levels. Nice. Oh uh, did I break it? Using it too much? I have a very bad feeling about this. Are my eyes blurry? Hey there, girl. Welcome to my realm. I need to get out of here and fast. Then I close it. What's the rush? Stay and play a while. Think, Lil. Think. What went wrong? Oh, he's counting down. Five, four, three. Did you say bye? Yeah. How did I get a game over? Terium Konade? What? I didn't even do anything. Oh, maybe that's the problem. I didn't do anything. That doesn't make sense, though. Like, it, it chronometers me? Like, that doesn't make sense. What's a chronometer? Like, am I supposed to chronometer? I, do I chronometer the chronometer? I don't have any charges on it. How did it work? That's weird. What? What the f was that? That was next level. I know, that was, I was still level 6. I was so freaked out that she's at a complete loss for words. I tried to stumble across space and time and haven't gone toe to toe with an interplanar demon. I'm gonna go down to the dig site to throw this stupid time machine down a deep hole. Okay, Lil, get it together. You can still do this. I didn't say that my choice will affect the sprawl. I guess that choice affects just Lil. I don't want to throw it away though. You've gotta take it back. Sh got too real with your chronometer 3000 thing today. I don't want it anymore. Hi, B. So nice to see you, B. Your paper in the Journal of Dwarven Medicine was a revelation, B. Well, excuse me, but I was just pulled into what I'm guessing was a parallel dimension and was murdered repeatedly by a demon. Hmm. hmm. How unfortunate. I always wondered what the byproduct of St. Bartholomew Inglebrook's lunar incantation would have on the relationship between time and interplanar folding. Well, write it down, cuz. Stop it. I don't care about any of that. Just take it back. I'm sorry, I truly am, but we've come too far. I'm sorry I've been absent, but I've been watching, and the readings I've been receiving have been very promising. I don't care. But you would care if everything and everyone you knew and loved was at risk. Everything might seem like we're in a storybook, but open your eyes. We're on the verge of a civil war from inside the walls. And if you hadn't heard, the princess just pissed off some very powerful people. Dang. It is in your best interest to continue to help me with the device. Because who knows when we will need to rewind time and un something more important than which nobody you chose to send to the dungeon today. Uh, yeah, I guess. And you're here after allegedly going toe to toe with an interplanar demon. That was me. I trust you. That was me. We'll just I'm accept it. Because I want to keep it. You and everyone else are going to owe me a childhood, you know? Keep helping me with the chronometer 3000 and we can see about making that happen for you. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, I wanted to keep it anyway, so.
you get ass for me. I got too much on my mind. I cannot give you the time. I'm just trying to get my dollar. Get my mama out the ground. Put in work, put in time. All I see is dollar signs. Okay, so we have to go to the goblin headquarters, GLA. Okay, it's pretty it's pretty cozy in here. Hello. I brought the orange slices. Was today a regular meeting day or one of those top secret planning for what's going to happen at the princess's wedding days? Is anybody Whoa, here? Whoa, what do you mean? Are they going to overthrow the government or something? I mean, not the government, but the, the wedding? I'm here. Are you here for the meeting? I don't think so. Oh, then you can't have any orange slices. Oh, man. Those aren't orange slices. Those are just the rinds. It's the best I'm part. Not hungry. What's this? I've gone back to where it started to find myself in light. We're apart for more than a lifetime, and I will be right. P.S. Remember to bring running shoes. I saw the comments. I, I saw the comments. The GLA leader wrote that. Your choice. What choice? Sure that troll over there didn't. I wonder what it means. I need one of these figures. You're trying to make me want to send it to me? Set a garbage real quick. Get a little. You've been at this a while. You should have enough cash by now to power up your arsenal. Getting additional slots and then like buying these, like they got me fucked up. Don't give me no money, bro. Is it 30 for 10? Because if it is, then it'd be worth upgrading all these. I'd be like, hell yeah, what the fuck? I feel like I'm gonna need the bull whip. Maybe like some bad people come. I'm gonna do this, 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 this. Ah, here she is. The little guardsman who spoke to the princess and secured the union between the sprawl and the great Marvog Empire. Oh yeah, let me get that gold bag you got. I know you got something for me. Yeah, I did. Told her just what to do and she listened to my every word. Oh, well, you making it sound like... <laughs> Like I'm a spy or something. I don't know about that. I admire your complete lack of modesty. Modesty is such an ugly thing. Let us celebrate with a tankard of blood wine. Kapla! Kapla. Uh, I'm 12. I, I can't drink alcohol. I can get milk. I can get milk. Haha, <laughs> never fear. There is no alcohol in Marvak blood wine. Just blood. In a big cup called a tankard. Okay. I'll take a little yeah, bit then. I'm a hard pass on Oh, that. I guess we're not taking none. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Very well. There will be much blood wine at the royal wedding where this sprawl and Marvog tie their fortunes together forever. Let us raise a glass to the gatekeeper who brought us all together this day. Kapla. Did a mouse sneeze somewhere? Come, child. Louder and with fury. I got you. Oh, I thought I was at, I thought I had to pick again. Too furious. Far too furious. We are not at war. Be careful shrieking like that. But as we say in Marvog, better to be too furious than not to be furious at all. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, that's a good saying. I'm exhausted. I shall now recite the Marvog Pledge of Unwavering Loyalty, as is our custom. All right. That's my cue to leave. Let's get, let's head to bed. We gotta get our eight hours in. Experience the proudest night of magician. I'm gonna cut it for y'all. I'm gonna cut it for y'all. He went home, got a fairy to the letter, and cast out a spell to make him forget he, he even knew about the letter. His fate's unknown. She made it just in time with her eye sculpture and she celebrated it with to some metal music at a bar. I can't read that. I don't, I don't know that language. Level seven. Good morning. You're listening to the Morning Crawl, the number one morning show in the sprawl. I'm Dodger, joined by my new co-host, The Quack. For those of you wondering where the ham is, well, it turns out he got an invitation to the royal wedding happening today. Whoa. All right, we're good with that. I don't think the ham's gonna be very happy when he gets there. Hiya, sweetie. Are you almost ready to go? Almost. Sorry I slept late. If I rush, I can make it to the guard shed just on time. Didn't you hear? All the gates are closed today for the wedding. We got the day off. Let's go. That's great news. So we can have a day just you and me? Hello, sappy montage of father-daughter bonding time. Nice. We only get the day off because we have to attend the wedding. Wow. Goodbye, sappy montage. You were a nice thought. So, should we get dressed up? What do you mean? I am dressed up. Didn't you notice my tie? You're not wearing a tie. Oh, darn it. Did it fall off again? Is the clip on? Did you Dang. tie it properly? Lil, you know I don't know how to tie a tie. It was a clip on. It was a clip on. Did you clip it on properly? Yeah, I see. Lil, you know I don't know how to clip on a tie. Dang. Yeah, drew one on. It on properly? I thought I did. Oh, it 
Tate. It doesn't matter. No one will see us. Okay. Our seats are so far from the altar. We're technically closer being at home. Then I guess I'm ready to go. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Remember, grab as many appetizers as you can, then meet me by the door. We still have to find our seats, and we'll need snacks for the journey. Well, long Stuff journey. my pockets with all the shrimp I can find. Got it. Let's go straight right here. Nothing beats Monty's soup, but I don't think it'll travel well in my pocket. Maybe I can find a bag and a straw somewhere. Like the like the coke you get from Mexico? What time I gotta talk to everybody? How exciting! I spend so much time studying history, but today I am here making it. That's true. I wonder how this day will be viewed by future generations. Eddie, baby, you ready for the big show? Who said that? It's me. It's Lil from the guard shed. Oh, my good friend Lil. Oof. I didn't say we were. Yeah, I didn't say all that. Lil, I've gone and done it again. I've lost my glasses, and I can't start the wedding if I can't read the official wedding officiant overview. It wasn't in his clothes you last time. You have to help me find them because you're my good friend. Where's the last place you remember seeing them, or just seeing at all? I thought I just had them. They have to be around here somewhere. Oof. Uh-oh. Don't tell me. They're crushed under your boot. No, they're crushed in my boot. I forgot that's where I like to keep them so I don't lose them. This is the exact reason why nobody keeps their glasses in their boots, Edward. What am I supposed to do now? Do I have an idea? I, apparently, you I have an idea. You someone else to lend you their glasses. Are you nearsighted or farsighted? I'm both. This could work. Then it's settled. You go and find someone to lend me their glasses, and I'll stay here. Why can't you do it? The pieces of my broken glasses are cutting my foot, and my boot is filling up with blood. Okay, you stay here. I should probably talk to my dad about this. Tell him I say hello. What's your current shrimp count at? We need at least 30 to get four stars. What? Dad, the wedding officiant needs a pair of glasses or else the wedding won't start. Also, Edward says hello. Who? Dad, focus. Who do we know that wears glasses? Doesn't Mrs. Abernathy? Good thinking. But you'll have to go and find her. She could be anywhere in the sprawl. Why me? Why can't you? I cut can't my shrimp. foot earlier oh. and my boot is filling up with blood. Do you know where she is? She could be at any of the locations in the sprawl that you've already visited. And chances are, Mrs. Abernathy might want something in return for her glasses. You may need to find a different person who may have another certain item or piece of information. If there's someone you met at the gate, try to remember if you admitted them, denied them, or sent them to jail. It'll help you narrow down where to find them. Are you giving me a tutorial this late? You may also mm -hmm. find someone who wants an item that you already have in your inventory. That counts. So Okay, so a little trade. Button? Would you like to hear this information? No. Okay. Now, if I was Mrs. Abernath, where would I be? The dungeon, Malcolm's office, sure. Let's try there. I wish more people opted to get married in the night. I do love a wedding, but the midday sun wreaks havoc with my complexion. <laughs> I didn't think that would work. What? Oh, he, I, I didn't Where see him. Is my cummerbund? And what is a cummerbund? What's this guy doing here? Wilp has a new master now, and he lives a very comfortable life. And he got to be a jockey in a polo match? Best day of Wilp's life. I and he's look rich like it. now too, and likes to flash his money around. Here's thanks to you, Lil. <laughs> oh, give me five. Where is my cummerbund? So I have to give him a cummerbund. There we go. Hello, Lil. Beautiful day for a royal wedding, isn't it? Shame we can't go and we. see it for ourselves. My dad and I were invited. Why, you lucky little bit? Hey, whoa. Mrs. A, I need your help. The wedding won't start until the officiant gets a pair of glasses, and you have a pair of glasses. See where I'm going with this? You want me to officiate the wedding? <laughs> no, I need your glasses. I'll give them back right after the ceremony. I promise. 
Oh, well, I'm afraid I can't just give them to you, my dear. I need them to read the odds on the upcoming Goblin Ball games. Oof. But I'll tell you what. If you get me a piece of food from the royal wedding that I can keep in my freezer and never eat, you can borrow my glasses for a little bit. Okay, Mrs. A. One plate of official wedding cuisine coming up. We got a thick ass soup. Hi, Kelly. How did you know my name? Ooh, okay. It says it on your name tag. All right. May I have a bowl of soup? Sure. What do I care? Oh, that's looking tasty. Mrs. A, here. I got you your keepsake appetizer. Thank you, dear. I like food. This is the uh, imposter, right? It has to be the imposter. No. Who doesn't? Now, how about those glasses? Good lashes. See? Yes. Holy crap! That was the shapeshifter again! And it's run off with my food for the real Mrs. Abernathy! Guess I gotta go get another plate. Or see if Mrs. A wants something else for her glasses. I'll take another plate. Can I have another bowl of soup, Kelly? Sorry, little girl. We're all out. And the dinner soup won't be served until after the ceremony. I guess I'll go see if Mrs. A wants something. Wow. You could tell that was the fake one, Lil. What's going on? Mrs. Abernathy, the plate of food is a no-go. You ate it, didn't you? That means I lost ten gold to Arta saying you wouldn't. I thought that could be a problem with you. No, I didn't eat it. Wait, what did you just say? She well, bet on me bringing it. What about a bottle of wedding wine to mark the occasion? Are they serving Petrardian fizzy perchance? Be hilarious if they did, but I don't even think it's legal for a Marvalgian to laugh. Never mind get drunk. There's got to be a couple of bottles floating around the sprawl somewhere. Floating around. Okay, I guess. I'll, I'll go check. I'll go check. Ooh, maybe that's it. The intercom buzzes. Hello? Councilwoman Ash? It's Travis. I'm back from that errand you sent me on. Are you there? Am I going to pretend? Oh, yes, Travis. Thank you for doing that. I value you and all your hard work. Wait a minute. This isn't Councilwoman Ash. Who is this? Yeah, she doesn't value my work. What? Aw, oh, you caught me. It's Lil from the guard shed. How did you know I wasn't Ash? The councilwoman would never tell me she values my work or call me by my real name. It's always intern boy or bozo or the worst of them all. Travis. Oof. Listen, bozo. That's good I need one. to find a bottle of Petrardi and Fizzy. Does her official snootiness have a bottle tucked away in here somewhere? Of course she does. She always keeps everything she needs to entertain her high-profile guests around. Perfect. Tell me where it is and I'll be out of your hair. Not so fast. I'm not just going to give you a bottle of fine Petrardi and Fizzy, compromising my position, my career, and risk losing the trust that's taken me so long to earn from Councilwoman Ash. Not without getting something in return anyways. There it is. What'll it be, Trav? I suppose that was Bozo. I can let you have it for 200 gold. 200 gold? You're crazy. Crazy like a fox who needs to pay off his student loans. I don't have that kind of cash on me today, Trav. Would you take a check? Yes. Well, I don't have one of those either. Is there anything else you'd want? Well, as I'm sure you know, I am a huge Goblin Ball fan. Who is it? Maybe tickets to a game? Some memorabilia, perhaps? Anything, really. I'm a huge fan. All right, all right. We get it already. Jeez. Let me see what I can do. I'll get you something. One bottle of Petrardi and Fizzy, please, Arda. No need to check my ID. I am absolutely underage. You know I can't do that, Lil. We'd lose our liquor license if we had one. Go ahead then. Slam me one. Food handling license. We shouldn't be allowed to operate. It's too much pressure. Emma, hold on in there. We're prepping for the post-wedding rush, and she's losing all motivation in there. 
Tell you what, you find me something that'll help motivate Emma, and I'll give you a bottle of the fizzy. On the house, but under the table. What do you think? Oh, we gotta we gotta cut a hole then. Deal. I know I've seen a motivational poster somewhere inappropriate recently. Motivational poster. This one? Yeah, there you go. How do I is it like that? Lil, there you are. I've been searching everywhere for you. You wouldn't happen to have a purple left-handed screwdriver on you, do ya? Or a pair of shoes made out of a watermelon? Uh, fresh out of both. Why? Rats. No reason. What can I help you with? I need to find something to motivate someone stuck in a service industry job. Hmm. How about that hang in there kitty motivational poster? It's always helped me when I've needed a boost. That would work perfectly. Go ahead and take it, but only because it's your birthday. It's not my birthday. Oh, we're going to talk about that. Every day is somebody's birthday. Go out and give that to whoever's birthday is today. Ah, uh, sure. Whatever you say. Excuse me, Ms. Goodfoot? Hello. Would you like an autograph? Yes. Yeah, that might be okay. Uh, what else you got? Excuse me? I got a guy who's a big fan, and he's looking to score some top shelf memorabilia. Aw, is this one of those kids who's in the hospital and they want me to score a goal just for them? Sure. Sure is. Then I won't just score a goal, I'll win the whole game in honor of. Oh, well, Ash calls them those names, right? So. Travis. And hey, give him this as well. I don't think I'll need it today. Does it does it remove one? It does not. Gross. Thanks so much. Hey you there? I'm back. Councilwoman Ash? No, not not her. No, it's Lil. I got something I think you'll like. A new job. Oof. It's a disgusting you sweatband from that goblin ball player, Saruna whatever. Got me Saruna Goodfoot's lucky second sweatband. Oh my god, that is incredible. Thank you so much. You don't know how much this means to me. Make sure to check out the next game. There may be a surprise for you and Saruna scores a goal. You'll find the bottle in the bar cart. Pleasure doing business with you. Wow. I got sneaky room. Oh, let's go at another one though. It's the big day, Lil. Can't talk. Can't you see we're slammed? I couldn't get one. That's wild. Mrs. A, I found you a bottle of the fizzy stuff. Can I have your glasses now? Maybe I should have kept oh, the band. Lil, I'm so pleased. Thank you so much. Yes, you may have my glasses. After enjoying this bottle, I don't think I'll be able to see straight anyways. Maybe I should have kept the sweatband. Instead of the poster. Because I could probably sell the sweatband for like a thousand, bro. Edward, I got you a pair of glasses. The wedding is saved. They better look like that too. Nice. Well, this is perfect. Now I'll be able to perform the ceremony. The wedding is saved. Look as piffy. I just said that. We both did at the same time. No, I. We did it, Lil. <sighs> I'll go get my dad so we can find our seats so the princess can officially say goodbye to her single life. What? What do you mean? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, humans, elves, dwarves, and other non-humans alike. Who's that? We are gathered here today to witness the sacred union of our dearly beloved Princess Desdemona and the fierce and honorable Praetor Cargan. We stand here to celebrate the, um, <clears throat> love shared between these two people as their union will forge a strong bond that will bring renewed strength and vigor to our fair city state. Oh yeah. Oh, I can object. Keep listening, keep listening. The 
I would, but I didn't say I didn't say have elected to write their own vows. Praetor Cargan, the floor is yours. Princess, together our two nations will enter a state of cooperation. Your surplus population will help fuel future glorious ballets of the Marvog Empire and provide ample breeding opportunities for more proud Marvog warriors. Kapla! Nice. Keep listening. Charming. Oh, keep listening. Princess Desdemona, you may proceed. That's so, the what? um, romantic. <laughs> Even though our people have differences of opinion on a variety of subjects, going forward, we will solve our nation's disagreements with words and mutual respect. But what fun would that be? Nothing can compare to the feeling of conflict resolution through the hunt. There's no chance you're talking about hunting rabbits or pheasant, is there? Ha <laughs> ha, no. And now, the presentation mm. of the ceremonial rings. Once you place the sacred rings upon each other's fingers, you may seal this alliance and your marriage with a kiss. And from that moment forward, your lives and indeed your two kingdoms will be forever bound. But first, if there is anyone here who knows of any reason that this couple should not be wed, speak now or forever hold your peace. Say nothing. The real wedding proceeded without incident, and those involved went on to lead deeply unhappy lives. Why don't you try that again? Object? I object! No. Oh, go back. I let him oh, in. No. Joke is here to enact his plan. What do I do? That's Stop the leader of the Goblin Liberation Army. He's here to disrupt the wedding. How did that filthy goblin get in here? Guards! What I do today, I do for all citizens of the sprawl who have lived under the boot of oppression for too long. What did the councilwoman just say? Guards! Wait! Stop! You don't understand! I have to stop the wedding! Okay, so I was game over. After the goblin there was forcibly removed, the royal wedding proceeded without further incident, and those involved went on to lead deeply unhappy lives. Why don't you try that again? Object! Wait. How did that filthy goblin get in here? Guards! Wait! What a disgusting little creature! What did the councilwoman just say? Guards? I said wait, and I'm done being ignored. Guards, stand down. Stand down. Chuck, what are you doing here? I told you to stay away. She knows Chuck. Ooh, the plot thickens. Hey, Chuck for the, the high school boyfriend right here. What I do today, I do for all citizens of the sprawl who have felt unwelcome for too long. For those of us who look a little different. Who can't walk down the street at noon with their heads held high? I'm looking at you, mole people. Ooh. I couldn't stand by and watch as my people's chances for a good life were erased by the sham of a marriage. Hey! And I couldn't watch as the woman I love. I called it. I knew it. Chuck got it like that. Dang. Chuck got a little Drake in him. What did he just say? The plot thickens again. We just went from soup to gravy, people. Don't. You can't. Who's gonna? The sprawl doesn't need you to sacrifice yourself to make it stronger. It already has an untapped power inside itself, waiting to rise up. I was gonna say something. Princess Desdemona, I love you. Will you marry me instead and join in allegiance with your own home? This will not stand. Princess, you can't seriously be thinking of leaving me for this. I'm on the edge of my fucking seat here. I thought he didn't come. Oh, there he is. I will, Chuck. I will marry you. What? This isn't going to work out. People of the sprawl. This may shock and horrify the worst among you, but this is Chuck, my secret goblin lover. <gasps> 
Dang. And I choose him as my groom. And together we will empower our own people and usher in a better, brighter future for everyone in the sprawl. Watch out, Lil. What is that? By rejecting the leader of Petrarch's proposal of marriage, you have made a grave mistake that will not go unpunished. Consider this message a declaration of war. You are hereby under siege and we demand your unconditional surrender immediately. Otherwise, we will lay waste to your precious kingdom with fire and brimstone pouring out from our weapons of war. Love and kisses the kingdom of Petrarch. Oh shit. Oh, is that game over? End of part one. What do you mean by that? Like, we went for the second game? Oh. The sprawl news about the war. On the front lines, our homegrown heroes are holding toe to toe against the pungent Petrarians. But back in the barracks, folks from home and away are signing up to do their part. You might even find the odd Petrarian joining our ranks to fight against their own. Go get them, soldier. And get them once for me. Talk to your local Godshed operator about how you can join the Sprawl Army today. What? Join the Sprawl Army today. Oh, don't tell me I gotta like recruit people. There's no way. Any questions? Did you see my dad? He was there. He looked okay. No, I meant questions about the new drafting procedure. It was in the weekly update video. You mean the propaganda video? You know what propaganda is? I didn't until I watched that video. Mm. Listen, people are going to come up asking about joining the army. It's your job to decide if they're a good fit, especially considering who else is coming to enlist that day. I thought my job was to decide who to let pass the gate. Not That's anymore. That's also your job. Oh. This is wartime. You have to do two things now. I wish my dad was here. He'd show me how to get out of doing two things. Up until now, we've tolerated a two-star average with you, guardsmen. Not anymore. We are dancing on a knife's edge here. So now you have to maintain a 2.5-star average, or it's game over. Why well, do you gotta say that? Oh, and if you don't draft the right people, we could lose the war. Also game over. Wait, figuratively or literally? Both. both. I'd love to say both in this game. Oh my god. The next game better uh, have that too. Level eight. We'll, we'll do that. Excuse me, ma'am. Is this the place where a fella could sign up to join that war that's going on? It is. Why? Do you know someone who's looking to sign up? Sure do, ma'am. His name is Elmer John, and you're looking at him. I'm talking about me, ma'am. Like the glue? No, uh, the glue isn't called Elmer John. It's Elmer, I think. I don't know. I don't remember. Now, what's a guy like you doing wanting to fight in a war like this? I fight for one thing and one thing only. My one and only love, Glory Ann. Who's that? Do I tease him? No, I gotta trust him, right? Do I doubt? I don't know That's who very it is. Who's heroic, that? I guess. This Glory Ann, is she your sweetheart? She sure is. Okay. And does Glory Ann feel the same way about you? She sure does. At least, I thought she did. Dish the details, Elmer. What happened? Well, you see, ma'am, how it is is like. It's like this, you see. It all happened this way, it was. Elmer, faster with the dishing. I'm sorry, ma'am. It's just all too painful to talk about. We were engaged to be married, and I caught her in the arms of another man. My neighbor, Bosco. A neighbor? Doesn't sound like much of an engagement then, does it? She took my ring and promised to be my wife. Then she broke that promise the very next day. So you're heartbroken and running away to war? Exactly. Oh, you fit right in. Let's go ahead and you draft. We draft heartbroken people. I don't even need to ask anything else. There's no turning back now, Elmer. Oh, Glory Ann, who I caught in the arms of another man. Maybe joining up will make you love me enough so we can spend our lives together. Then our lives to together. Uh, I didn't save it, so I have to redo this one. But we're back. Here's level two. Ah, it's you again. I remember you, the miserable wretch who saw to me the last time I came to this repulsive, simmering carbuncle of a city. They're not little men. I remember you too. You're that unpleasant, obnoxious Ebenezer Scrooge knockoff. Yes, we have met. Uh, let me talk to him. It is my intention to go straight to the bank of the sprawl and have my substantial monies removed from this sinking barge of a city before the banks are overrun or worse, sacked. 
Mr. Dunn just needs to hear my confirmation number and I will have my fortune sheltered in a more rich people friendly nation. Well, I don't know if, I don't think you got rich in a good way. A little tease on, on him. You really think the people of the sprawl are dumb enough to sink their own bank? Inevitably, people flock to BS at the first real sign of danger. Ah, uh, maybe we call someone out or we'll talk again. You can't let the bank fail. We need that BS money to make sure the city doesn't fall. Oh, maybe well, I should have called should have someone. thought of that before convincing the princess to turn down that delightful Prince Phineas. You want it? Anything I can say to change your mind. So he wanted. So maybe if I on the free Phineas wrong, maybe he's different. I got some goblins in jail. I got some there goblins in jail. One goblin I think of, and I think of him constantly. Well, not that it is any of your business in the slightest, but that photo was taken of me and Welp in happier times. Where is he? Where is he now? That rotten court jester slash dungeon keeper had the audacity to offer that useless goblin a job. Malcolm? Now he's gone. Welp. So beautifully useless. <laughs> man, let's let him in. Well, can we call Malcolm? Let's, let's, let's see what he says. This is the dungeon of Malcolm the Great? Just read the cards! Oh, okay. <clears throat> this is the dungeon of Malcolm the Great! May I take a message? Wait. Oui. Who is this? Who is this? Lil. Oh, Lil! It's me, Will. I, I bet. So, listen. There's someone here I think would like to speak with you. Go ahead. Will, is it really you? It is, Your Grace. Will, I never thought I'd see you again. Well, we are on the road. Why? Why they gotta give him the picture though? Well, been really talking in the attitude, or maybe he's always sad. I don't know. I don't know. How are you? Have you been treated poorly? He doesn't. I mean, he treated him pretty poorly too, big dog. But he, he I guess, deep inside, he cares. No one ever treated me as poorly as you, sir. Well, I guess I was wrong. I miss. But he cares. You well, so I'm not wrong about that. I miss you too, sir. Come. Run away with me. We can leave this war behind us and start again with all of my money. Sir, I never cared a jot for your money. I only wanted to be with you. Oh, Welp, my heart sings. No matter what happens to me now, I will dedicate my remaining life to you. Let's go. We're gonna get what that back. Your remaining money. Yeah, well, was gonna gas for wealth. That's it. I'll donate it to the poor. <laughs> like, well, just kidding. But I won't take it away with me today. Good enough. Get in there and reunite with your friend. So we're still letting them through. All right. Oh, I guess it's true love conquers all. Way to go, Cupid. That's nice. Even if I got one star, I would I would have done that. I would have done that. Beautiful. Who's this? Where is he? Where's that meek little slunk of a man? I have no idea what you're talking about. Did a hopelessly heartbroken fella by the name of Elmer John come by this way? Oh, he Spouting a crazy did. Like running off and joining the army? He did. As a matter of fact, he did. Oh, Elmer John, what have you done? Tell me, did you allow that fool to throw his life away over nothing? I don't know. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you or not. I have to know if you sent him off to war. Because if you didn't send him, then I'd like you to send me. To get as far away from that fool as possible. I don't know. Should I call someone? I take it you're Glory Ann. That's me, Glory Ann. The same Glory Ann that was caught in the arms of another man? She's gonna... It's not what it looked like. Uh, and if Elmer John had stuck around for more than a second, I could have explained that to him. Well, she was putting her clothes back on. Ow. So what? You're sick of these wonk-headed men getting all hot and bothered and making hasty decisions over something that could have been settled by a rational conversation? Exactly. Should I call someone? I feel like I should call someone. 
Oh, she gets a draft thing? Okay, let's talk one more time. Let's talk. Even if that fool Elmer John is drafted as well, and he's there waiting for me with his big dumb eyes and his cutie pie dimples, it won't matter. He ain't waiting for you. He won't be able to smooth talk his way back into my heart after doing something so stupid like running off and joining the war. At this point, it doesn't matter if you let him in or not. Either way, I've made up my mind. Well, you don't go until I make up mine. Come on. You really don't want to know if he was or wasn't drafted? What if he's at home waiting for you? With a big old apology banner that says, I'm a fool, take me back. He's run out of apology banners this time. Him and his suspicious mind. Not to mention the wartime measures prohibiting the sale of fabric for such frivolities. Okay, yeah, let's talk again. Florian, let's talk again. I gotta know. Did Elmer John really find you in the arms of another man? That's only what Elmer thought he saw. So what was it? It all started when that big loud Bosco from two houses over came round like he always does to try to court me again. I mean, you're the one answering the door. I explained to him that Elmer John had asked for my hand and that I had said yes. And then Bosco explodes and says he's going to smash Elmer's head like a jug. So I lunged at Bosco to hold him back. The big brute. That's what Elmer saw. And the next thing I know, he's crying about going off to war. Doubt. Doubt. Now, don't you think you're going and doing the same thing Elmer's gone and done? Running off with a hurt heart before you're slowing your ride and talking it through? Why are you talking like that? I thought you wanted to. I sure don't. Can you just do me a favor and do the opposite of what you did for him? For me? That's confusing, but okay. So maybe, maybe she's telling the truth. I don't know. We'll, we'll deny her though. We'll make them both happy in their own way. Now, I'm not doing this because I drafted Elmer John and I'm trying to keep you apart. I understand. And I'm not doing this because I didn't draft him and I want you two to be together. Understood. I'm doing this because I don't think you fully thought this through. I'm denying your recruitment into the army. I guess I was acting a little hot under the collar there for a minute. I should go home and talk things over with Elmer and... Oof. Wait. Now will you tell me? What happened to him? Did he get drafted into the war? Yes. He's on his way to the front. He won't be waiting for you when you get home. I just hope there's someone big and strong to back him up out there. Oh. Homeboy from two houses over is gonna come over. Who are you? Who are you? That cuts me deep, Lil. It's me, Julian, a.k.a. Magnus the Magnificent's Magnificent Lower Half. We ate orange slices together? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, wait, yeah, I do remember him. I'm just coming from a conference I mean, of her. GLA members from different nations looking to help each other out. The GLA sounds like it's thriving. I've it been there. sure is. Trust. We made some major inroads with a sympathetic group of Petrardian miners. They've offered to dig tunnels that will bring food to the sprawl without anyone knowing. Hmm. Okay. I hope we can get these plans to Queen Desdemona for her stamp of approval. Then we can get things underway. Okay. You should take these to the Queen. We'll give them back. I'm on my way there now. Ah, uh, you admitted the goblins were on a mission, but you missed something in the right. So go back. How many rewinds do I have? I'll try it. I'll try it again. I'll try it again. Maybe we should call someone. Striker, maybe? Because she's leading the war, right? Call Striker. Those tunnel plans to increase our food supplies are exactly the kind of outside the box thinking we need. Let them in. The I knew that. The best and brightest will go over the map and construction will begin in no time. We have food. We have food. <laughs> uh, well done, Guardsman. Oh, yeah. Okay, I, I didn't know that. That was random. Let's go next. Tunnel plants are underway, so there will be more food for the people of the sprawl. Well done. Hey, Lil. Is it draft? Listen, I wanted to say I know things must be tough for you with Hamish out on the front lines and... Huh? And what? The fact that I have to work a full-time job at age 12? Yeah, that's gotta be tough. And the fact that I live alone on top of a dive bar? Well, you meet some interesting people. And the fact that my dead mom's still dead? Oof, yeah, that's pretty rough. Well, if you ever need someone to talk to, you know where to find me. I'm actually 
actually not sure I do know where to find you. Oh, well, normally it would be at the barracks, but for the foreseeable future, I'll be running security for Her Majesty Princess... Sorry, Queen, Queen. Desdemona. After you finished your shift, Her Majesty and the Royal Consort have asked to see you. Oh, nice. Why, Why does Her Majesty want to see me? She's meeting with some high-ranking member of the Mage's Guild to discuss battle strategy. To be honest, the Guild hasn't been very supportive of how Her Majesty has handled things. She was looking for a bit of backup and wanted you specifically. All well, right. Can count on me. I can do that. I hope. I hope so, too. The fate of the Sprawl may rest in your hands. It always does, Cecil. I'll see you after my shift. Great, great. Thanks, Lil. And if you write your dad, tell him we all wish him well. I will. I, will, I, will. I know he'd love to hear it. See you later, Cecil. A familiar group of black-clad folk approached the shed, weeping and moaning. Is the same people that had the cat? It is. You must help us, child. We have been left without shelter. It's awful. Scarborough has fallen. <laughs> what happened? The Duchy of Scarborough has been under constant siege for the majority of the war. Those bastards! Whoa. I didn't expect that. We finally had to flee. We couldn't stand it any longer. We've been without food for days. Yes, everyone is rather hungry. We got food from the tunnels too. I'm I trust so you. I'm so sorry to hear that you've had to flee your home. I can't imagine how hard that must have been. Thank you, child. I'm a duchess without a duchy. We have rather a lot of refugees that need your help and your whoa. food. Des she said, whoa. It has come to our attention that enemy sympathizers within Scarborough betrayed our people and lowered our defenses in the night, allowing the, um, what's the word? An invasion. Bastards? Hmm. Oh. Quite. Allowing the <clears throat> bastards <clears throat> to gain entry. Oh, yeah, it was quite shocking, it was. Hmm. This guy's a little suspicious. Why is he looking the other way? Enemy sympathizers? Yikes! And you don't know who did it? Not at present, no. So it could be one of you? Sack my own duchy? Well, maybe not you. Yeah, hold on. Let me scan these guys. Or should I truth spray? Maybe truth spray. This will work. The last time didn't work. So it should work this time. I still miss my beloved sprinkles. Boo -hoo. Okay. I've been doing my best not to fantasize about poisoning my employer lately. Fantasizing though, fantasizing. Must not confess crimes. Must resist child's powerful spray. Brain. See, I had a feeling. Excuse me, what? All right, all right, I did it. I lowered the bridge and let those... Bastards? Right, those bastards. I let them in. It was me. <laughs> he begins to sob. Oh, you sneak. You are hereby banished from the court of Scarborough. Prince Phineas was right. Soon the entire sprawl will fall to the might of the kingdom of Petrard. Oh, go away. You know, Prince Fini is like that. Well spotted, Guardian. Listen, I'm just doing my job. And that's how you truth spray your way to success. Excellent line, lady. But that was... Oh, never mind. Even with that settled, I'm still not sure what to do with these people. Uh, I'll let them in, I'll let them in. Because if he admitted to doing the thing, then what they said it was right. And then, and they do need food and housing them. Plus, they were at the wedding. Yes, thanks awfully. As I said, we are incredibly hungry. There should be enough food for your people. We have a new plan to bring more into the sprawl. Regardless, you are a hero in the history of Scarborough. If our lands are ever restored to us. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. You did the right thing in a previous turn. You unmasked the traitor, but you missed an important step. What was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to scan the guy? Was I supposed to like scan and then truth spray? Because I was thinking she was invited to the wedding, but. That's because she's a Dutch Duchess. What be I call Ash? Ash. Oh, my heart just breaks for the dear Duchess and the people of Scarborough. 
While our food supplies remain dangerously low, with the tunnel operation unlocked thanks to you, we should just be able to feed everyone, including these refugees. You may let them in. Okay. Okay, so maybe that's it. Because they said call Ash or Striker, right? Okay. Did the right thing. You're a master trader and you were kind to a refugee four star. I was already kind to him, a little man. I don't know how the call made a difference. Where Except do six. I enlist? You're oh, in. you're in. Here. You're in. Then what are you waiting for? Sign me up already. The name is Bosco. I heard that lily livered run Elmer John came by this way and I want to catch up with him so I can smash his head like a jug. Uh, I don't know. So that's you? You're just the kind of guy we're looking for, but I'll need more than just a first name to sign you up. Houlihan. Okay, Bosco Houlihan. And last thing, why do you want to smash Elmer's head like a jug? Because he's a fool. Do you trust it's common practice to go around smashing people's heads like jugs where you're from? Only if they're dumb enough to run away from a quality dame like Glorianne. Hmm, so maybe he's like so someone that's clear, trying to help you're him? You're mad that he ran away from Glorianne? Yes. Because you wouldn't run away from Glorianne if she wanted you. Yes, but she's made it clear that she doesn't. Okay. This little drama is wrapping up quite nicely. It will once I smash Elmer John's head like a jug. I guess you trust. You smashed a lot of jugs in your day. Yes, my father was a jugsmith, and I hated him. Jugsmith? Okay. I haven't heard it's of that. A real thing. Okay, I trust you. Why are you stalling? Let me through. I want to go join the army so I can... Smash Elmer's head like a jug. Yeah, I got it. No. Well, yes, but I want to join the army so I can find my place. My purpose. Glorianne doesn't want me. I have to come to terms with that. Okay. Maybe in the army I can find some brotherhood, some kinship with other people who maybe have signed up for the same reasons as me. A broken heart and a desire to break heads like jugs. I trust that you, I trust you. Surprisingly deep, Bosco Houlihan. Thank you. It's the first now time I've seen that one. That rascal Elmer John, and I'll tear him apart like an old hat. First it was jugs, now it's old hats. All right, you are in. Broken heart. Let's help Elmer John. A little beating, Listen, but. Buster, we need you. Yeah, all right. My name is Bosco. I know. But. Buster Listen, works. Bosco, oh. we need. Okay, good. Look out, Elmer John. I'm coming to smash your head like a jug. Yeah, go get him. If he's there. Honestly, I forget what I did with him. Yeah. Tease him a little bit. Shift's over. We're gonna go see the queen, I believe. That should be, yeah, I was about to say, that should be perfect. Which is exactly why we must start using them immediately. The risk is too great. We need more time to study the long-term repercussions. A luxury we can ill afford. Your Majesty, Lil has arrived. I'm here. Thank you, Cecil. Lil, thank goodness you're here. I've got a problem. You have an opportunity, your highness. You know Tyronius Athanatos, I believe. I've, I've heard. Had the pleasure, I guess. Yes, I remember this little guardsman. And Dr. B. Have you met Dr. Beatrix von Matterhorn Lil? Should I say yes? Should I say no? Okay, yes. I have. She works at the hole in the ground by the edge of town. Yes, I, I mean, it's an archaeological dig site, but yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, she's the one who gave me the chronometer 3000 on my first day. Ah, so she does have access to power crystal technology. I might have known. Wait, Lil has had access to power crystal technology this whole time? Maybe it's not as dangerous as we imagined. She seems fine. I don't know. We don't know that. It's still too early. How long can we wait? How many brave soldiers of the sprawl must give their lives before we use the tools we have available? Uh, that's always a bad line before something bad happens. Let me fill you in on what's going on here. The Mages Guild feels that if they had access to power crystals, they could hold back the enemy and maybe even win the war outright. Okay, so why don't they go buy some? I know a guy in an alley 
But you know what? I'm gonna stop there. It's starting to sound weird. They want all the crystals. Access to every dig site and existing stockpile in order to amplify their power. The good doctor could simply give us the blueprints. Or better yet, the working model the child has in her possession. Oh. This would allow our research to flourish in no time. Dr. Beatrix feels that there are too many unknown variables to use it safely on a larger scale. The Mage's Guild is and always has been reckless. There's no way I'm handing my research over to you. Not until I see the full effects on my human test guinea pig here. Oh, that's me. Yeah. Wait, what? We both knew what this was. Well, Lil, you've been using power crystals at the guard shed. What do you think? Are they too dangerous? I think they are. They are way too dangerous. I use the chronometer 3000 under very specific circumstances. You start manipulating time out there in the everyday world, who knows where it could lead? That's what I'm saying. Spoken like a scientist. Do you have a master's degree? Got three. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm 12. Oh. Thank you for your counsel. I always appreciate having multiple opinions when it comes to big decisions. I have made up my mind. Dr. B will continue to oversee Lil's progress with the Chronometer 3000, and it will stay out of the hands of the Mage's Guild until we can be certain that it is safe to use in this war. Then at least allow the guild access to the crystal reserve for the sake of the Sprawl's future. For the time know. being, the reserve shall remain under my control. For the time being. My decision is final, Tyronius. You will find that I am not as easily swayed by you as my father was. Ooh, let's go. Ah, I called him out. I'm just here to support my lady love. This choice has been eating her up inside. It's an important decision, and I want to do anything I can to help. I think she made a good choice. With you, I mean. Oh, those are powerful words. When you hear them, those are powerful words. Thanks for your insight, Lil. I'm sorry to keep putting you in this position. What I don't understand is why would they have summoned her to a meeting without us there? Where's the fun in that? Without at least one of us there. Oh, and we all know it should have been me. You really believe well. that, don't you? When it comes down to the serious, important things that affect this kingdom, I think they'd rather take advice from the strategic mind of a ranking military officer. Rather than the two cents of a goofy, hopped-up lunatic with questionable taste in fashion. Or a lousy court jester. Yeah, ouch! We were both in the firing line on that one. Well, all that being said, you still weren't asked to join said quorum, but she was. And she is here. What? She is here. She's here. She's here. Lil is here. I really have to work on my subtlety. Ah, oh, hmm? Lil, you're here. We heard you got summoned to talk to the queen and her new choice of partner for some kind of special quorum. How was it? Was it boring? What kind of boring things did they talk about while you were there? Tell us. I can't I say. If they wanted you to know what they talked about at the meeting, they would have invited you. Oh. She won't tell us anything. She's as useless as you two are. I take offense to that. Dang. Offense to what? Sorry, I got distracted. Can I go now? You're dismissed. Well, I came here. Hey, by the way, before you get to shopping, this blowtorch you sold me with Fosse carved onto it, I've had the hardest time selling it. Maybe you'll want it back. Might come in handy. And I'll sell it to you for just four gold. Sure. Well, actually, I should get some crystals. Will I run out? I don't know how many levels are left. Maybe I gotta wait. Lil, how goes the Battle of the Southern Gate? Same old. How are things around here holding up? Great! Business is better than ever. Something about war and the idea of impending doom really gets people out to the bar. That's I bet. good? You bet it is! If this keeps up, we'll finally be able to get this place up to code. Then we can get rid of the rats. We don't have rats! I mean, we do, but technically they have us. Turns out they own the building and we just rent from them. Oh, but wow. if we make enough money... We can buy out from under them. As far as landlords go, they aren't the worst. I could do without all the hissing. Hey, that reminds me. Lil, you got a letter in the mail. Ooh. How did that rem... Never mind. A letter? From who? From Hamish. 
I was gonna say maybe from dad. From dad? Me Get that. Hey, sweet pea. How's everything back home? I'm doing okay here. I've gotten to know a lot of the guys. Then when they don't come back from battle, I get the chance to get to know a few more. I miss you. I know you might be scared right now, but don't be. It'll take tougher stuff than this little war to do in your old dad. Please let me know that you're all right. Or even if you're not. I need to hear how you're doing. I love you, Lil. Dad. Beautiful. Love you too, Dad. But what should I write back to him? If I tell him things are tough here, he might worry and get distracted in battle. But if I tell him I'm doing well, he might feel like I don't need him and then get distracted in battle. He's easily distracted. Oh boy, neither answer seems right. Are you talking to me? No. The war writer at the society is going great in order to make her father feel better. Are you sure? I can still pick. We can talk to him about the negatives when he comes home. There. That should do it. Hey, Arda. Mind making sure this gets to where it needs to go? Sure thing, Lil. Ooh. Well, if it isn't my old pal, Lil. Oh, now you remember me. Oh, so now you remember me. It's like I wrote that. Always did, kiddo. Just had to play it cool while at my legitimate place of business. My former legitimate place of business, that is. Oh, is he under the table oh, no. now? What happened? Tough to say, kid. Could have been any number of things. Change in management, downsizing on account of the war. Mm. It was probably the illegal gambling operation you were running out of the concession stand. Tough to say, kid. Regardless, yep, tough to say. I'm here on official bookie business. I've come to collect a debt from Hamish. Oof. <sighs> Sounds about right. How much does he owe you? 30 gold, and I've got the marker to prove it. Sorry, I don't have that kind of money on me. Either come back tomorrow and I'll see if I have the money, or wait for Hamish to come back from the war. Eh, both those options sound lousy. Tell you what, let's forget the debt altogether. Ooh. But tell Hamish I ain't taking any more of his markers. See you around. So, Welp and Grumpkin apparently fell in love. But Grumpkin had a heart attack and they had a funeral. And he donated his entire money to GLA. She got the plans to him and they did the tunnel. They they hanged the villain at the town square. Brutal, I guess. What is this? Battle. Oh snap! What the Yo hear that sound effect? I think they got us in this one. Oh no, we got him. What's up? They had the toolies, but we won. The garrison station at the Sprawl Secret Western Food Depot successfully repelled the invaded Petrarian forces. The Sprawl's reserve food stores are safe from the enemy's greedy hands and empty stomachs. After fleeing Endorvin to smash Elmer's head like a jug, Bosco shockingly found common ground with the neighbor, and he and Elmer buried the hatch and became brothers in arms. Their teamwork during the battle became a thing of the legend, and together they saved many lives. They each received an official Sprawling Medal for Guts and Moxie. I knew they'd be friends. Level 9, we'll leave that, we'll leave that off to the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, uh, this, the, these don't get that many views, but I mean, I, I get that they're long. But I mean, they gotta be long since, you know, it's not a short not a short game. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you didn't, refresh the page and give it another chance. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Hey, hey I'm a young brown baller. Iced out collar. Heard they been talking, I'm the new shot caller. Harder than me, saw cap, no starter. Ain't shit free if I don't bet, I barter. Yeah, flow like water, bars like Carter. If it ain't about the cash, bitch, please don't.